Okay, here we go. Fleet versus Rano. Fleet being one of the newer characters for Rival 2. Yep. Got a lot of really cool extensions with the arrow. They, this might be a button check? I can't tell. Oh yeah, this definitely feels like a button check. Mm -hmm. <laughs> melee player's gotta. The melee, melee player instinct to <laughs> dash, to dash dance. <laughs> To be fair, I mood. I played Maple. <laughs> like I, I have the same. I have the same instinct. Don't worry. Now Fleet. You said you you play Fleet, right? Yes. Fleet. I I have know next to nothing about Fleet besides uh, seeing a little bit of extensions from Void, but I don't know the actual mechanics. So Fleet, uh, Fleet's honestly a whole lot more straightforward than people give them, uh, give her credit for. Um, People see a dice and immediately think, "Oh God, RNG." Yeah. Um, no, that is literally just a like a number number of resources left. Okay. Uh, so her neutral B allows her to make her bow glow like that, uh, and there are certain moves that shoot arrows. That's uh, if you land while while uh, the bow is glowing, it shoots an empowered arrow, and if it lands, uh, it puts a timed explosive essentially on them, uh, which leads to right. some very funny interactions. <laughs> Uh, because, but uh, it also has the um, it has the Mega Man Crash Bomber effect essentially, where okay. if you get hit while if you get hit while uh, while they have it, then it gets transferred to you. Okay, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Can it be parried? Uh, it can, it can, and it, it, it that is a risky uh, a risky uh, like thing to go for, but it's worthwhile because like parrying always gives you a bit of invincibility, so you can just kind of rush in with impunity. Gotcha. Okay. Um, however, uh, seeing how these guys uh, how these guys pilot it, uh, one of the things that's like fleet, one of the things that like people need to understand about fleet is that like her buttons take a take a bit longer. Yes. But the problem is, is that her buttons are so oppressive sometimes, and there are and she has fast buttons too, to to kind of uh, like work uh, work out um, like certain things. Like her up air. Probably, probably pretty long, but the sweet spot on that thing is very strong. And at early percents, just it's a free combo. Good it like Lord, combos yeah. into anything in this game. I swear. Trying to tech chase that forward tilt, rolling away, not going to be able to get it. Rano. Yep. And now you see right there. That, I love that. Whatever yeah, that is, that I love that. That is uh, Fleet's side B. She shoots an arrow uh, forward, and then a tornado goes uh, goes behind it. Okay. Uh, but if you get uh, but if you get hit while the tornado is out, or it, they can swat it away, uh, it's a really easy projectile to just get rid of. But uh, if if it comes out, it's really easy to like get some pretty free follow ups. Yeah, and that that was down strong. Uh, that planked with them, but. Jeez, good DI on that bear. Oh my god, and and that down that down B flip ki uh, flip jump or er, flip shot is just ah, uh, man. I swear to God, I I am in love with that move alone. It's just so cool. The one that she she jumps backwards as a shot. That's her down yeah, B. It, yeah, her down B is basically a flip kick, but uh, it instead of like a kick, she just shoots an arrow. I'm assuming like, you can cancel it into up B. Uh, you cannot. Okay, okay. You okay. can't cancel it. You do have to go through in like, but you don't go into Pratt Ball. Gotcha. So you can you can be reverse it and use it as a recovery tool, but it's mad linear, so it's just like it's it's a it's a choice. Gotcha, gotcha. Wow, getting that fair spike onto the ground didn't really go anywhere though. Ooh, both of nice these guys, prepare. both of you, these guys, they're like, oh yeah, uh, yeah, I can crouch cancel, and yeah, <laughs> crouch canceling kind of good in this game right now because look at that, like you crouch cancel something and they just don't go anywhere. Yep. Shark onto the platform with some up air is gonna miss it with that air dodge, staying in place. Dare you to do it again? No, <laughs> not. Honestly, I think one of the interesting things about uh, about watching uh, melee guys play this is that you can see like them doing a lot more like micro movements. Oh my gosh! I was, that's the first thing I noticed between this one and the past game we just watched. In per in particular, the uh, in three in particular, Rano uh, was like you know doing like those sh those like tiny walks and then going yes, uh, going yes, forward yes, yes. with uh, with F tilt. Uh, yeah, you, you'll see these guys, like, really try to, like, microspace everything. Um, and granted, that that is valuable uh, valuable intel, especially since, like, in Rivals 1, we had baby dashing, which was kind of our own form of micro movement. Right, right. And I I don't know if baby dashing is still in this game. Granted, I never really made much use out of it. I just was kind of a mid-tier uh, mid uh, <laughs> yeah. player, so like never really got into that like really, really minute tech. 
but uh, we still we still have that kind of stuff here, and it's really nice to see like it like game skill being able to like sort of transform. Yes, right yes, yes. You'll notice that a lot. He said they, uh, you said the crowd dashing is really good in this game. I don't even know if they know that. I think that is just instinctual that they are they are uh, oh, crouch absolutely. dashing, but crouch absolutely. Canceling. They're just standing there and they, they're crouch canceling everything. They see they see a move that like sends like even like one pixel downwards. <laughs> like oh, I can crouch cancel <laughs> that. <laughs> Which, like I said, to be fair, that that's pretty strong in this game. Very, not gonna lie. Very. Now, one of the bigger changes that we just saw right there is from Ramos one, you could wall jump after your recovery. It does not look like you can in this game, right? Uh, you cannot wall jump out of most most up B's. I think Crag can get away with it because for some reason Crag is a war criminal in this game. Uh, yeah, yeah. Um, but uh, yeah, for most characters, when you up B, you cannot uh, wall jump. Now. There are there are uh, certain recovery moves uh, that you can wall jump out of. For example, Loxodon has has a side B command grab that does send you into Pratfall after, but you can wall jump off of it. Uh, okay. Okay. Um, and for example, there are other there are other options, sort of like fle floating, uh, floating, floating there, or flip kicking, which doesn't send you into Pratfall. Okay. Uh, essentially, the way I like to describe it is, if you are heading, if you're going horizontal with a move, even if you get sent into Pratt Paul, you can probably wall jump off. Of it. Gotcha, gotcha. Okay. Wow, that was actually very quick stock. Exactly. Good lord. Now we're just they're they're just kind of like throwing throwing stuff out right now, just like getting a feel for everything. It, like, and the thing is, is, like, you don't even see uh, see him like really looking, like diving into a lot of like the minutia of some of these characters. Yeah, exactly. Just kind of like throw it and throwing buttons, see what works, see what see what I can get away with. I am fully convinced that that very first thing that we saw that we thought was a button check was not just a button check. It was a what does this character do check. Yep. <laughs> and oh, that and that right there is one of my favorite favorite uses of that side B right there. Uh, you can throw it throw it on the side, and if they're not precise with their uh, with their uh, lead grab. Yeah, they they just kind of get beaten out by tornado, and now they're. Oh wow! They're I never. Oh, yeah, that's really good then. It, even better since like all of fleets, uh, a, a lot of fleets moves that like shoot arrows. Yeah. Like they are consistent hitboxes, so you can get people off stage with the tornado, run off, and then just down air. Huh. And it's just it's so oppressive. That's what, probably the most obnoxious thing that fleet has in her uh, in her toolkit. Wow, we're just hitting buns on that top platform. Still not really getting much off of it. A fourth throw off stage. Going to see if we, ooh, the strong into it, but not going to be able to capitalize on it. I like I like the high recovery, though. I like uh, I like mm. him realizing, like, yeah, like he probably can't hit me with something that's too strong up here, so I'm going to throw high it. High recoveries are going to be so much stronger in this game now, ooh. and it's, it's going to be a great mix-up. And now they're playing really safe around there, each other's shield. Yeah, and, yep, wall, ooh. rock wall. He got rock walled. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> I love dying sub 100. Let's go! <laughs> <laughs> Hang on, sink. We're gonna. And now we're back at it again. Now switching over to the Zetterburn. Uh, yeah, uh, I do know Den is a Fox player in Melee. Mm, this so is gonna feel right at home for him. Then. Yeah, it, like. Zetterburn's always been described as like a combination of oh, like a couple different uh, different space animals. So yeah, uh, we'll see how he, uh, see how he pilots it. Uh, what do we got? So. <laughs> yeah, we're definitely seeing the pace change very much more with this now that he's on a com character that he's a bit more comfortable with, the archetype. Yeah, uh, you can definitely see like him, him kind of like just having a bit more like instinctual knowledge mm -hmm. and stuff just making sense. Okay, that down, down air, uh, that down air uh, coming out on shield. Rhino Pressure. down here still being one of his better moves from Rivals 1 into Rivals 2. Not going to get it with those up smash or the second up smash, but what we love a third here. We are yeah. not getting oh. one. Ooh, that was almost it. Not nice yet, not recovery. yet. 
Gets the back air, hits the sweet spot, and yeah, 174, that is a dead Zetter burn. Nope. And, and that's the one thing that uh, that like is going to trip a lot of new people up. Like even in this game where re recovery is still a whole lot more straightforward, like yeah, knowing how to optimally recover, that's that's going to be the tricky thing for a lot of people, I think. Good juggles from Zetterburn. He's getting every up air, every fair, and every nair imaginable. Yep, that that's uh that up air in particular, that's uh, sour spot up air. Yeah, very good combo tool. Can really get you chain uh, chained across the stage, but uh, it, what matters is how do you finish with Zetterburn? Like you gotta know yeah. how to gotta know how to either get him in a position position where you can land that forward air a sweet spot or up air sweet spot or. Uh, Put him in a, in a bad enough spot where he can just get an empowered strong. We got some poison on Zetaburn. Let's see if we're going to get a, any kind of command grab out of it. Doesn't look like we're going to. I actually don't know. Does his Rano side B hit through shield in this game? I haven't tested it yet. Um, I believe so, actually, if I'm not mistaken. Okay, so it's like a true command grab then. Yeah, essentially. Which makes sense. It's yeah, yeah. It, it is, it is a, te a giant tether, essentially. And yeah, he's still... Still not not finding like everything you can get all, uh, Ooh, out of nice. it. But I mean, they're still they're they're still kind of just trading blows right now. Nothing nothing too nothing too fancy right now. Oh, oh he missed was, the he, ledge hog. He, he he had it correct if he had just stayed there for like two more seconds. Ooh, right no. idea. A little slow on it. Yeah. Well, I, I don't think that that's a true a true thing. If he does nothing, then yeah, it, that, yeah, that works. Yeah, yeah. But the, the the true thing there would definitely be, I think, uh, like, fall up air one, right? Uh, not even. You could, uh, if you want to be simple with it, you can just go for back air. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not getting much off that platform, but he's gonna be able to dare his shield. Oh, yeah, and right there, he got got some good there. Going going for exactly what you thought. Nice. We are last stock, last game here. Then it's a really down strong. Find it. Ooh, but nice. Tether's back. Makes it in. Oh, gets the back here, but can't follow up on it just yet. Seeing good movement. Where's he gonna get off of it? Oh, misses the sweet spot. He's gonna be. Alive. Oh no! Oh. I think he. He I thought. I bet you anything. He thought he had yeah, a jump. Yeah, I think that fair took that jump. He wasn't aware. That was really good. Love seeing that. Yeah, shout out to screenshot taken. <laughs>